do with this little uh, new camera of mine, bought at Aldi's. <clears throat> this time it's outside of its waterproof underwater box, so I am really hoping the sound quality will be perfect. Um, and so what I want to do is play around a little bit with the um, Leaf Liner Tool. In this case, I've got the Craft Tool Pro B2076 uh, version. Basically, a tool with lines on it, and um, in a shape that will. Um, allow for the two corners to be done so there it is that's what the impression looks like okay I have no definite uh, quick um, layout starting point methodology or anything around this so what I'm going to do is show you just how I've played with it before um, I use only half the tool at a time, so I would um, lean the tool over and only use one tip. Then, on the this long side of the tool, um, let me show you. The tool has got a very long side and a short side there. I take the long side of the tool and line it up with what would have been the long, the short side of the impression. So in, I put it in like that. Then I turn the tool around and I line up the long side with where I started the short side. Then tilt it over to the other side and make the impression there. Okay, then they uh, do like a V, a chevron shape um, with each other. So now it's a question of getting that one right. Uh, let me think quickly. Okay, so this one, and there's, there's <laughs> various patterns you can do with this. So I'm going to do this one where that's the two of them positioned next to each other. And so now, now the second one, and they do an under over one under one over one under one over one weave so the next one this one was here so the next one jumps uh, and one step over with this one and if you really look very carefully the the angled side is now lining up with the side of this weave there And the same thing, I would turn it around, line up the short side with that side, and do the other one. Then, um, I would have this guy that was there, now would sit in that, this one here. So, there we go. And if you want to, you can draw straight lines to line these things up. I uh, rather fancy the uh, more um, organic look, if you want to call it that. So now I've got two sets sitting next to each other. Going this way, that way, or rather, well that one's first, then this one, then that one, then this one. Now I'm going to have to put another one over there. So this one is the same as that one. Over there. 
<coughs> and I line up. I'm just turning it so that I can see how I line these up. There we go. Second one is, third one is starting to take shape. Now this one again, it was this way down. And this lines up with a short side. There we go, and now I've got three sets of these. One that way, one this way, one that way, one this way, one that way, and one this way. Okay, and so now you can expand that um, because once it goes this way, it has to change direction on the other way. So these guys are going to uh, sit there, the next set of them. will look like that. And it looks like with this weave I would kind of have to just come and Redo this one slightly just so that they are all clear. Um, there we go. So I can carry on with it. And you can carry on in either direction. I find with this, I start in the middle and I work outwards um, because I understand it better and I follow pattern much better doing it that way if you are um, good at estimating I suppose you can make one long row of this non-stop but I fill them in next to each other as they come um, yeah there it is that's how long we've the um, bit of fooling around I did the other day with it um, I did use a slightly different approach to this one and now if I can just let me see if I can if I can do that what I did I had the one bar there we go so there's the, the basic bar okay this one is worked in this way if you look at this that end of the bar if I can call it that way that diagonal end of the bar that is going to line up with the short end of the two this short length if I can put it that way so when I bring in that tool I line up the short end of it with that throw it forward and make that impression there we go so in this case if you look carefully at the difference between those two with what we've got there what we had there was that the two bars that that uh, makes up this weaving, these guys work in a wave like that. So it's a it's a long weave. The end of the bar lines up with one side, half of the side there, 
of that other bar. In this one, the 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 angle is thrown around so that that angle between them is less than 90 degrees. Whereas in this you'll see that when I have the two next to each other, the angle between them is more than 90 degrees. And that's the big difference between those two weaves. So in this case, now, next one is this one again. This one, this one. Yeah, I always have to focus carefully so I don't make a fool of myself. There we go. And there's the second one put in place, second bar. Now I fit in this one again. that one and now I will let me make three in each direction Okay, three in each direction. Now, I'm going to build it out sideways. So, um, this bar has to start that way. So, this one jumps this way, I think. Yep. Yep, 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 yep. So, also, the other thing that can help you focus made a mistake, made a mistake. That one was right. Ugh. This one was wrong. The next bar should have gone in that direction. In other words, this way. Okay, bad mistake there. But you gotta concentrate on these things. Ugh, that helps. As I say, it's not easy. Maybe there's an easy way, easier way of showing this or teaching how to lay these out that would um, be a bit less confusing. Um, I'll see if I can think, dream up something for you. Because this can definitely be a bit less confusing. This one is really not working out so well. Um, that other one was a bit better. I will attach the photograph of the other one to the end of this video so that you can see. Um, just uh, while I'm busy with this, I want to show you two more things. Long ago, uh, I had a friend who made me, uh, Eric Reitz, he made me two tools. He was a tool maker. Um, and in a different area, not in leatherworking tools, but he made me two tools, and um, this is what they look like. They made me one more, but that is what the two of them look like. So you can use them for basket weaving too. Um, 
Huh. Yeah, I haven't played with them for a long while. Let's see if I can do something sensible with them. Um, so with that one. Okay. There's the three. Four of them in a line. Then this guy. The other one, do that side, another one, that side. And that's what you get with that one. <laughs>